Back in Germany, there seems to be a discussion at the moment about Mario Goetze. There's a reason that I'm asking about him, because Kevin Grosskreutz says that he should consider a move abroad and that Liverpool would be a good fit for him. <laughs> what do you make of that, and what do you make of, of Goetze's struggle for form as well? Uh, it's absolutely nothing what I would want to talk about in a, in a press conference in England before a game against Chelsea, to be honest. So, if I have to say something... To Mario, then I, then I call him. So, and I don't talk about him. Absolutely nothing to say. One game. Good no, question. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have to ask you, you have to. Who uh, sent you? Who sent you with these questions? Well, it's actually, not. It's, but he's not your friend. We believe also me. Also, had any questions from Germany about it as well, actually, because they're obviously interested in, in your take on it. Yeah, I can say it in German again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you've said often enough one game at a time, but I just wonder then, when you look at the games that you've got coming up against Chelsea, how do you contrast the importance of a game in the cup with a league game at the weekend with a side that is just a couple of points behind you? I thought, oh, we should completely ignore the game on Saturday because there's nothing to do with that. It's a um, completely different competition. It's more it's a coincidence that we play them and a few days later again, but um, whoever we would have played tomorrow night. Um, after the game tomorrow night, we would start to prepare the game on Saturday, and that's exactly like we do it now. In the moment, we think only about um, tomorrow night. Uh, it's a competition we like. We said that, uh, we, 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 we showed that, especially my first season, does not, not work always out. It's a difficult, it's a difficult draw for both teams. Uh, it's not that you think, um, yeah, come on, in the first two, three rounds you go through somehow, and from the semis on, it starts getting exciting. No, again. Nice wheelie in the competition, and um, so now we want to we want to show that we are ready for that as well. That's all. It's a home game. It's a, um, flat lights. So I like it. It's in a, a very strong side. Um, so um, will be really interesting. I'll ask you about team selections again, though, because it is the cup. Is this an opportunity maybe to give Fabinho his first competitive start, and maybe also an opportunity to give Simon Minule some game time this season? The, the, the only position I, I will um, confirm today, which we will change if nothing happens in the training, is Simon. Simon will start. All the rest, you have to wait until tomorrow. But it will be a good team, believe me. So, um, and yeah, nothing else to say about lineup on who, and who can have whatever opportunity. Each game is an opportunity. And it's all about um, is the situation for it, is the player ready, is, uh, there are different things you have to consider when you, when you think about the lineup, obviously, and especially for a, for a cup game as, like this as well. So, but it will be a very good side, which we will um, line up tomorrow. Simon? How has Simon been for you then? Because I know he was... Brilliant. Um, Wow. It was brilliant. Yes, it was. A, how you can imagine it? It's a, a transfer window. Time is uh, is a, it's one of two moments in a year when you can make decisions about going somewhere, so or, or bringing players in, whatever. And yes, Simon um, would have been ready to 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 go to another club to be the number one uh, wherever in the world. So and that was clear. But we couldn't we couldn't do it. And so and since then he's brilliant. So he trains, fantastic, it's all good, and he deserves that game um, absolutely tomorrow. And um, I'm really happy um, to give him that opportunity, that's all. So how confident or happy are you now then on, with your entire squad attacking all four competitions that you've got this season? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's possible, to be honest, but we will, because it's, it's only the job to do. But I, I, there was never a team who won all four, right, for different reasons. So, uh, especially, I think, with the Carabao Cup and FA Cup and Europe and Premier League in, I think it must be February or so, I think FA and, and Premier League hope that nobody goes through in all competitions because then they have no idea how to deal with it. So, because then you have not enough days. I remember my first year here when if we would, would have won against West Ham, I think we should, maybe we would have played Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something like that. So, very funny. Um, we, so, but it's not about the other three competitions tomorrow night. It's exactly one competition we have to play, not four. And so we, that's how we will how we will take it um, with all with all concentration, with all focus, with all intensity. Normal game.
um, people are hopefully coming to the stadium. So it's all there, what you need. And um, so let's exactly um, yeah, do it like that. But Jürgen, with it being the fourth game in the space of 12 games, you've said Simon, you, well, you've confirmed that. Is this an opportunity, though, to, to rest other players as well, bearing in mind this... Not wholesale change, but will there be more than, say, a few changes tomorrow? Uh, I have nothing to say about that, to be honest. I don't think that I get any information until tomorrow about the lineup of Chelsea. I don't think so. Why should I give any? I really, we are really competitive. We really want to win that game. It's I'm just nothing. The, 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 I think the as well. The games that you're in as well at the moment. That was all. Yeah. So we will see. So you can. That's always. I have to make decisions. I will make decisions, and it will be a really strong side. And it will for sure not. I will not even name the number of of of, of, of changes I make. And it will, but it will not be the max. And it will not be the minimum. It's it's all between then. We will see. One I already confirmed. So it cannot be nil. Um, yeah, and it will for sure not be eleven. So we will have we will have a good team, and I really want to see us playing good football because it's our rhythm. We are used to play. Um, three times a week. So let's do it. That's all. They've also made changes as well to the competition. The fact there's no extra time this time, it goes straight after night, it'll go to, to penalties to decide that. Is that an advantage or does that. Very do you sensible. That? Very sensible. Finally, finally, um, they did that because it's uh, just. We want to have a decision after the game and not. And however the decision is made, that we all have the same chance. You can you can win the game during the 90 minutes, or you win it then in extra time, which didn't happen too often. Um, but uh, and it, it it kills pretty much the, the, not in the first round for us, of course not. But if it's round three, four, whatever, then you have um, the problem, the intensity. Then it's October, November, but um, and then or, or December even, and then it's really it's too much. And they play extra time, and the, the, the opponent of the weekend is sitting in front of the television and is happy. So I'm really fine with penalty shoot after it if necessary, and then um, one winner and one loser, and that's gone. Uh, you had to stop the Virgil van Dijk the other day. Is there any update? Is he okay to play? He is much better. Still a bit. It's it's painful. So um, nothing else. <laughs> uh, well, painful is already not too cool, but um, so we will see how we deal with that. But it's it's already better. It's nothing how how we thought already after the game, not too serious, but it's not nothing. So he needs um, that needs to settle for sure. And um, didn't speak to him today, so we will see how how he comes here um, today, and then uh, we make a decision about him. In general, how pleased are you with your defensive lineup and not giving opponents chances? That's not only the defensive liner. So um, we all know that it's uh, that's, if that's like this, then it's about all the whole team. You cannot defend only with the last four. That's quite difficult, and you will face a lot of shots, a lot of um, situations where it's difficult to deal with. So um, yes, so far so good. So it's clear we won a few games, and that you cannot win these games if you if you are not in a, uh, if your performances were not positive. They were positive, but they're already. Um, in the past, so tomorrow night we have to prove that again, and Saturday again, on Wednesday again, on Saturday again. So that's quite still a very intense period, and so um, yeah, we feel ready for that. But we have to show that we are really ready tomorrow. Yeah. Um, at this point in in your Liverpool career, how important is it that you get a trophy this uh, season? I don't know exactly. Um, the good thing is, in this moment, I cannot get a trophy, so I don't have to think about that. They will. Um, you can get them in the first one, probably in March, and all the rest um, May or so. Um, yeah. No, nothing to really. Don't think about trophies in a moment. Um, absolutely not. And um, what we what we are thinking about is how we can how we can win football games and how we can improve. Um, our game, where we have a lot of space, man, space for improvement. So, and that's what we are working on. But um, I really, if you have a target, an aim, whatever, um, and you think about that too much and not about the next step, you will, you will struggle. So, we are complete in our situation, and everything is fine. 
And on, uh, on how many fronts is it realistic for the squad to be able to fight for trophies this uh, season? How many tournaments? I don't know. I have really no idea, but we don't have to think about that as well. So it's to, for tomorrow. It has no reason to, to think about anything else but, than about going through in the next round. So And it's possible, it's difficult against Chelsea, uh, but possible, yeah. And I have no idea. And then we play at, I don't know exactly when, when, when all the other competitions start. So it's, uh, I know. I don't know when, when is FA Cup starting in January. Mm -hmm. So we, then we think about FA Cup. Until then, we only think about three competitions. But um, we have to, we have enough time to play the games. So that that's no that's no problem. So I, I really, if, as long as we don't have a big injury uh, blow, whatever, um, we are ready for the games. We only have to to make then right decisions lineup wise, and that's um, what I try again tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. Could I just get a check on uh, Lovren, Lalana, Origi, if any of these guys have a chance of being involved? Uh, Dejan looks actually quite good. Trained completely normal now four times, I think. And had a very intense period before that, so he trained really with the, with the fitness guys already for, for sure uh, ten days or so before we took him then in, uh, in normal training. So he looks, he looks ready. Dibok is not far away because, but it's an ankle thing. It's a very unfortunate situation, and uh, we will be very careful. You know, the ankle was his problem, what he had after the Everton game years ago, um, and um, so we will. He will be back. I'm pretty sure next week or so, but uh, not not now. Um, and Adam, yeah, Adam is um, trained with the team. Not the full, not the, f not the full session, but will now come back step by step. So. About tomorrow, I, I don't know, but will not be that long anymore, for sure. He's in a good way. Thomas is completely back. It is. It is um, the biggest change I ever saw in, a, in a, such a short period of time of system. Wow. Style completely. That's uh, what a manager he is. To be honest, I'm I'm, a, I'm pretty much a supporter of him since, since um, I saw them playing at at, uh, at Naples. That's outstanding football, and now doing it in a in a very interrupted preseason without a lot of players involved. Okay, Chelsea maybe was a bit fortunate with the players, but Aiden was not there, and um, Giroud not, and, and and all that stuff. So a few players were out. Starting the season, and you see immediately the impact. All my respect. It's really, it's really good to watch, and um, yeah, good job so far. I have to say. So I never, I know that people always were talking about. Then um, I don't know exactly why, but about City is clear. By about us, I'm not 100 sure, but um, about being champion at the end of the season, whatever. I completely forgot Chelsea. I cannot. This team is uh, is experienced. They won the title already. I'm not sure, but 80 percent of them probably twice, um, and. They they know how it works and um, so that's a really good group, really strong football team.